The next thing that I want to add into this game is some kind of increasing difficulty. At the moment, there is a little bit of a random factor within the platforms. However, they are all stationary, which means that no matter how high I climb, the difficulty stays the same. So what I would like to do is add in some platforms that move left and right across the screen. Now to do that, I need to alter my platform generation code a little bit. If I go into the game loop here, I have this section of code where I create all the new platforms. At the moment, I'm using the random module to create or generate my width, x and y coordinates. And using those, I'm creating an instance of the platform class. Now I'll keep all of that pretty much the same, but I will add an extra variable. This is going to be p underscore type for type of platform. And that's also going to be a random value. So I'll use random.randint and it'll be between one and two. And now I can check what that variable is. So if p underscore type is equal to one, then I want this platform to be a moving platform. I can say p underscore moving is equal to true. But otherwise, p underscore moving is equal to false. Now that I have this extra variable, I need to make sure that I feed this in as another argument within the class. I'll say p underscore moving. But if I run this code now, I will get an error. And that's because I am now supplying an extra argument, but I haven't updated my constructor here to receive that extra argument. That means I need to add that in here as this last variable. So now if I run this again, I still get an error. Now that is because I have a standard platform when I begin. So although I'm generating platforms throughout the game uh, down here, I always start off with an initial platform that the player stands on. So we need to remember to add the same variable in here. I don't want this platform to ever be moving. This is always going to be a stationary platform. That means that this argument is always going to be false from the beginning. If I run this again, Everything is pretty much exactly as it was before, but I know that all of these platforms now have an extra variable or an extra argument, which is this one here. Now I just need to code in what that's going to do. So first of all, I need to make sure that I capture it as a self variable. Say self.moving is equal to moving. That means that each instance of the class is going to have its own moving variable. So some of them will be able to stay where they are and some of them are going to move. Now if you remember from the fade transition effect video, I explained that when I move anything across the screen, I use a counter. And that's exactly what I'm going to use here as well. So I need to add another variable, which is self dot. Oh, that's not right. That shouldn't be p underscore. So self dot move underscore counter is equal to, well, again, I'll use a random number here because I do want to have some randomness and differences between the platforms. I don't want them all to be the same. Say so rand int, and this will be anywhere between 0 and 50. And the other thing I need is a direction. So which way are these platforms going to be moving? Well, again, I want to use a random variable because they could either move left or they could move right. Let's say self.direction is equal to random. And this time, instead of the random integer, I will use choice. And the choice is going to be inside a list here of either negative 1 or one, and these are my two directions. So one is a positive direction because that's increasing the X coordinate. A negative one is my left-hand direction. So it's my negative direction. Now that I've got these defined, I can actually move the platforms and that's gonna happen within this update method. So currently this already has some updates for the Y coordinate. This is what determines how far they are on a screen as I jump. And also when I go off or when the platforms go off the bottom of the screen, they just get deleted so that a new one can be made in its place. Above this, I will add another little section and it will say move platform side to side if it is a moving platform. Well, first of all, I need to know if it is a moving platform. That means that I can use that self.moving variable and I can check if it is set to true. If that variable is set to true, then I need to be moving the platforms across. So to change or to move the platform across, I just change its x variable. Self.rect.x is increased by self.direction. Um, that's pretty much it for now. I won't add any more speeds or anything like that to it. I'll add that in later. So for now, it's just going to be moving by one pixel, either to the left or to the right. So let's run this and see what happens. And there we go. I have got some moving platforms and now they're just completely drifting off the edge of the screen. So I need to make sure that when they move for a certain amount of time, they stop and they come back. So I need to know how far the platform has moved. I need to track that movement using this counter. 
So as long as it's moving, I will also say self dot move underscore counter is increased by one. And now when this reaches a certain point, I will allow the platform to flip direction and move in the opposite. So let's just add another comment here to say change platform uh, platform direction if it has moved fully. So I just check that variable. I'll say if self.move counter is greater than or equal to 100, it's just a number I've picked that seemed to work pretty well. Well, in that case, self.direction is flipped. So we multiply it by a value of negative one. So if it was a positive value, it'll become negative. And if it was negative already, it'll become positive. So whatever direction is moving in, it will go in the opposite. But of course, I need to now reset that move counter. So self.move counter becomes zero. If I run this again, I should be able to have these platforms moving back and forth. And before I died there, I think you would have seen that. Let's try it again. There you go. So the platforms do return and they go back and forth here. So it is starting to work, but there's still a little bit of work to do on it. So for example, you can see that that platform and a little bit of this one is just happily going off the edge of the screen. That's another check that I need to make sure that I look for. Now this section here just needs to be expanded a little bit and it will account for that. So at the moment it says change platform direction if it has moved fully. Well, I'll just add or hit a wall. And now this if statement can just be expanded to look for that check. Now it's going to hit a wall if the rectangle of the platform has either gone off the left hand side or the right hand side of the screen. Therefore, I can just do a check here to say self.rect.left. So the left hand side of the platform, if that's less than zero, then it's gone off the left hand side of the screen. Likewise, if the right hand side of the rectangle has gone greater than screen width, then that means that it's gone off the right hand side of the screen. But the reaction in either case is exactly the same. We flip the direction and reset the move counter. I run this again, and this time I don't have any platforms near the edge of the screen, but maybe if I climb up a little, uh, I think this one might actually be going, yeah, so there you go, you can actually see it, it hits, pretty much bounces off the edge of the screen. So I can see that that part of it is now working, and I can tell you it's definitely more difficult having these moving platforms. If I press space here, I, I wasn't ignoring this problem, if I sp press space, I get an error here. Now, I believe what's happening is this section here when I reset the game. Remember, I start off with the platform group being emptied when the game is over, and then I recreate my starting platform. Well, of course, this is still missing an argument because I never came back and updated this. I need to add a false here. So this false means that the starting platform after I restart the game is also going to be stationary. So if I fall off again and reset the game, that platform is still there and it's still stationary. And I've got these moving platforms to contend with. But I think it's possible to add a little bit more variety into these platforms. So at the moment, okay, I've got them moving at different directions and different times, but they're all moving at the exact same speed. And that's another variable that I can randomize. If I go back up to my platform here, I've got my move counter. I randomize the direction. Well, just below that, I can also randomize the speed. I say self.speed is random dot rand int and at the moment the speed uh, well although it's not defined it is just set to one so now i'm going to say it can be either one or well anywhere between one and two but it's an integer so it'll be one or two now that i've got the speed i can come back down here and where i'm changing the x coordinate of the rectangle i'll multiply it by speed so this is what i meant by at the moment speed is one anyway so now it's just going to either set this direction variable to a multiple of one as before or it's going to double it and the platform is going to move twice as fast. So let's see if this actually works. And there you go. You can definitely see that those ones are faster than the ones before. But have I made some mistake here and made them all too fast? No. So this one is definitely moving at speed of one and that one is going twice as fast. So that's all working well. And that's pretty much all that I want to add for the platforms. However, it's made the game far too difficult straight away. The intention wasn't really to do that. What I wanted to do was that as I climb higher, and the score increases, then the game starts to progressively get harder and harder. So I don't want these platforms to start moving instantly. I want that to only happen after I reach a certain threshold. So back down in this generation of the platforms section, where I had this code that said, if platform type is one, 
then I make it a moving platform, I'm going to add another condition to this if statement. And that condition is going to be that my score is greater than 500. Uh, you can set this to anything you like, but essentially what I'm going to be saying is that for the first 500 uh, scrolling, all the platforms will be stationary. And that just at least makes the game uh, progressively more difficult. So it starts off not too bad, but then when I get to a certain point, although I haven't seen any, at this point the randomization is kicking in. So I should be able to get to a point now where I'm starting to see these random moving platforms and the game has now gotten harder. If I fall off, I restart, and now it's back to all the stationary platforms until again I reach that point of 500. Uh, although it's not really worked either time, but you're seeing them coming in. Basically they don't appear less than 500. Alright, so I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.